Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Bradley back with another fragrance review. Today's fragrance of discussion is going to be from the house of Ralph Lauren. This is Polo Red. Red, blue, green, black. Man, does Ralph Lauren love his colors or what? So guys, you've probably seen a lot of commercials about this one over the past couple years. I would argue that this, along with Dior Sauvage and maybe Gucci Guilty, were probably some of the most heavily advertised fragrances over the past like five years. So definitely there's chances are you've heard of this one and I'm going to be telling you guys today if it's worth your money or not. So Polo Red was released in 2013, it's classified as a woody spicy fragrance and has citrus, warm spicy, fruity, amber, and coffee accords. So with that, let me take you through the presentation of Polo Red. Alright, now let's take a look at the presentation for Polo Red. As you can imagine, obviously it's going to be red, that's the whole theme of this fragrance right here. You have the signature Polo logo in red and black on the front. Pretty simple, you've got your um, information on the bottom, ingredients on the back, really nothing on the sides, the top. Uh, pretty basic uh, box, nothing really to write home about at all. Now for the bottle, uh, again, a solid bottle, a solid color bottle. Um, I don't really like when companies do this because obviously I can't see the juice level whatsoever. Um, it just tends to chip and peel off a little bit, just pretty simple, red and black. Again, very basic, very generic type of a bottle to me. I think that they could have done much better with the presentation, but uh, definitely not one of my favorite presentations. All right, now let's take a look at the note breakdown. Polo Red opens with grapefruit, cranberry, and lemon, which then goes to a mid of saffron and sage, and then dries down to a base of woody notes, amber, and coffee. So let's do a checklist with this fragrance, shall we? Fruity Sweet Bomb, check. Synthetic Amber and Coffee, check. Yet somehow nice and amazing opening, also check. Yeah guys, this is a very interesting fragrance in terms of how it smells because this is definitely one of those that's top loaded with notes, if you know what I mean by that. Um, when they were creating this fragrance, I think that they put all the money into the top notes, which smell amazing. This quite possibly might be one of my favorite openings out of all the fragrances that I own. I love the opening. It's got this tart and sweet fruity cranberry mixed with the grapefruit. You add a little bit of this kind of a saffron note in there, which goes away pretty quickly. Um, it does have this synthetic amber and coffee accord in the base, so it does give it a nice warmth to it. And the opening is awesome. I just love this, this fruity, sweet opening. But like I said, it seems like they spent all their cash in the opening because as soon as this thing gets about 30 minutes and it starts to dry down, it just becomes this kind of blah, generic, sweet fragrance. Not much character, not much backbone. I'm telling you guys, if the opening stayed with this fragrance, I would love it. Um, it's just unfortunately it just becomes, again, one in that generic sweet realm of fragrances after it dries down. It's just like, hey, what happened to that amazing opening? It's completely gone. I would say this thing sort of has a similar vibe to like Versace Eros, um, you know, these very sweet, young, youthful, clubbing type fragrances. This is definitely in that realm. And oddly enough, this is one where like when people smell it straight out of the bottle, they love it. You know, all the people that I've had smell this thing straight out of the bottle, they say that it's really good. One of the best things that they've ever smelled. I'm like, really? But then when I put it on my skin for some reason, it just doesn't really react with my skin the same way because I don't get a whole lot of compliments and they don't really seem to like it as much when it's on my skin as when it's straight out of the bottle. Overall to me guys, this feels just a little bit hastily made. It kind of feels like, you know, they're trying to attract your attention with this amazing top and then um, you kind of get lured in and then you realize about an hour in that it just has this kind of basic, boring dry down. So with all that being said, I'm going to score this scent a 3.5 out of 5. If, like I said, if the opening stayed it, it would probably be like a 4.5 because I love the opening, but unfortunately it goes away pretty quickly. Alright, now let's go with the performance. Pretty blah performance, if you ask me. I mean, the projection struggles to project. Um, I've been reading around and watching some other reviews, and that's pretty much the consensus that this thing just doesn't project. As soon as you spray it on, it almost becomes a skin scent, and that really sucks because I love the way this thing smells, and I wish it would have pushed out more. And with the longevity, about five to six hours, and it's then pretty much completely gone, which, you know what? This thing has base notes, like I said, of amber and coffee. Those two notes, if they're done right, if they're done in high quality ingredients, they'll last a long time. But obviously, um, there's a little bit of a lack of quality of ingredients in this, and it just don't seem to hold on. So overall performance is kind of disappointing. Uh, I'm going to give it a two out of five. Now for the versatility, I definitely see this at home on a college or high school age dude. Um, it just has a really, really nice kind of young, youthful, playful nature to it. Definitely in the clubs. That's, the, that's where I see this one working best. It just has, like I said, that playful nature to it. Um, very sweet, just kind of boom out there, makes an immediate good first impression as soon as you spray it on. So definitely in the clubs but, and definitely also nighttime. If you do like a lot of nighttime stuff, this could definitely be a great wingman for you. But that's pretty much it. I don't see this working at all good in the office place. Nothing for high class events, not even casual, I would say. 
um, possibly a date, maybe if you're like in high school, uh, maybe it's like, like I said, I even feel young wearing this and that's saying something. And as far as seasons go, I guess fall, winter, I mean, it doesn't really have the performance for the winter time. They do have an intense version of this, but it's not much better. Um, I could definitely see this maybe working in the fall, like I said. It did make um, my top 10 for my fall list, so obviously I did have um, a really good appreciation for it at one point, but I seem to have lost it as I've discovered um, scents that are much better than this. So with that, I'm only going to give the versatility a 2 out of 5 as well. Um, definitely, if you like nighttime activities, if you do a lot of nighttime stuff, and if you like going to the clubs, and if you fit this age group, then yeah, this one is for you. Okay, now let's go with the compliments. As I've said before, this is one where I, when I have people smell it, both men, women, it doesn't matter. If I had them smell out of the bottle, they love it. And I would agree, like when you start out of the bottle, it smells amazing. But for some reason, on my skin, it just doesn't seem to work as well. I smell this on other people, and it smells great. But um, as far as compliments go, guys, I've only gotten like one or two compliments that I can think of um, when it's on my skin. But like I said, for some reason, when people smell it straight out of this little bottle right here, it's, um, it's like magic. So I don't really know what to say for the compliments. I'm just going to give it a three and a half out of five. I can definitely see this working on a younger guy, and I think younger girls are really going to like this on you as well. All right, now for the value category, you can find about a 4.2 fluid ounce bottle of this for around $50. For around 40 bucks, you can pick up the two and a half ounce. And for around 60 to 65, you can pick up the uh, giant 200 mil bottle. You know, this thing's been out for a little while. Uh, I think it will, should be a little bit lower. I think it's just a tad bit overpriced, um, you know, because this is not like a super unique scent or anything like that. But um, I think for what you're getting, it's a pretty good value. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five for the value category. And last but not least, who do I think can wear this and well, how many sprays? Um, I would say this is definitely best for high school, college age, at the very oldest. Um, this definitely has a youthful appeal to it. And three sprays is all you're gonna need with this. All right, so let's give Polo Red a rating. I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10. To my knowledge, I think this is the lowest rating I've ever given a fragrance that I've reviewed so far. But you know what? There was a time when I loved this thing. When I first got it, I was in love with it because that's when I didn't have too many fragrances. But since then, I've really expanded my, expanded my fragrance wardrobe. I've smelled so many more amazing fragrances and I just don't feel the magic with this anymore. I used to wear this and just feel like a king, like a boss. And I just don't feel that with it anymore. I don't know. So I think it's, uh, I've been moving on to better fragrances, but still a six and a half out of five for the right guy, I think it could be really good. And yeah, this is definitely one that if you walk into any high school locker room, you're pretty much gonna smell this, almost guaranteed. Uh, this is getting very, very popular with the teenage crowd, so that's just another word of warning. So that about does it for me. Let me know what your thoughts are about Polo Red. Go check this stuff out. I think it's probably worth a try in my opinion. So let me know what your thoughts are about it in the comments down below. And make sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later with a, another fragrance review of some sort. I got some really good reviews coming out, some top 10 lists and other amazing things. So be on the lookout for that and see you later.